Hi everyone, I'm Amanda Howell. I'm the business librarian here at UW-Whitewater, and today I'm going to give you some tips for citing using Harvard Blue Book. This is the most common style for citing legal sources, so you'll probably use it for your finance and business law classes. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to cite statutes. There will be other videos for citing cases, law reviews, and websites. There are many other types of sources you may need to cite, in which case you should refer to the Harvard Blue Book. The Blue Book is available for in-library use in Anderson Library at the Reference Desk. It's important that you give credit to others for the work that they've done so you can avoid plagiarism. Not doing so, intentionally or not, is misrepresenting your own work and may result in serious academic and legal ramifications. You may be required to cite a statute at some point. For citing an entire statute, you would need the official name of the act, the title number, the abbreviation of the code cited, two section symbols, the span of sections containing the statute, and the date of the code edition cited. You can also cite an individual provision within a statute. For this, you just need the title number, the abbreviation of the code cited, the section symbol, the specific section cited, and the date of the code edition cited. In order to create the section symbol on a PC, hold down the Alt key and press 0167. On a Mac, hold down the Option key and press 6. When citing a statute, you should cite the United States Code rather than the United States Code Annotated, which is found in Westlaw. For this reason, it's a good idea to cite statutes using the Government Printing Office website. This page has an example of a statute from the GPO. The name of this act is the Age Discrimination in Employment Act. The title number is 29. This is found in the United States Code, which is abbreviated USC, and the section numbers range from 621 to 634. The last bit of information we need is the date. If we look up near the top, we can see that this is from the 2012 edition. Now that we've found all the elements we need, we can create our citation by plugging each of those elements into the format we laid out earlier. Note that the difference between citing an entire statute and citing an individual provision is that when you cite an individual provision, you do not include the official name of the act and you only include the specific section that you're citing rather than the span of sections. This page contains some other useful sources you might want to check out if you get stuck as you're creating your citations. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions about citing sources using Harvard Blue Book.